So, how are you doing tonight? I hope everybody's fine. Um, why aren't you at the open mic? It, it starts, it don't even go on to 1030. So, it's it's not like I'm trying to take the easier, softer way out, but, you know. Um, anyhow, myself, I'm not, I'm not doing that well. Yesterday, I had to put my parents to sleep. <sighs> you know, I didn't have to. Physically, they're okay, but I felt like I needed some closure on some issues. Right now, I'm in the first stage of grief, the where the fuck is my percentage at the inheritance stage. And I've seen this new therapist, Blossom. She's got a new method she uses. It's massage and psychotherapy, what she calls deep issue massage. Um, I don't know if that's helping me or I guess too early to say, I don't know. But, so, you know, that was horrible. But on top of that, last week, my dog Sparky dies. Did I call Sparky? His name's Barky. Oh, upset. No wonder I made a mistake. So, you know, it's bad enough. It's probably happened to you. you, you it's just heartbreaking. And you go in there and you, not only do you have to go through that emotionally, they hit you with a bill for like $1,500 to find out he has cancer and they can't do anything about it. And... Then they're trying to slap me with the bill for euthanasia and to get rid of the body. And I told the FedEx, I said, you know, I don't, I don't have that. I can pay for the other bill, but for the euthanasia, I don't, I don't have that kind of money. And he said, well, now I'm not going to lower my prices because, frankly, uh, Mercedes don't make their own payments. But I do have some information on a company that seems to be helpful for people in your situation, uh, B and C. So I brought it in. I thought uh, I'd help it. Maybe you'll be in the same situation I am. And, and um, so here we go. Uh, it's a brochure, and uh, it's, it says at the top, uh, B and C, pulling a plug on your pet. Uh, main body part says, now, putting your beloved little buddy out of their misery doesn't have to take a big bite out of your wallet. Save big when you let B and C bludgeon and or club your pet to death. Whether it's a puppy, kitten, dog, cat, ferret, hamster, reptile, you'll end up with the same result and save big. That's right, save up to 65% off the standard, some say rip-off price, that most vets charge for pet euthanasia. We have a little room where you can take time to cradle your beloved companion in your arms during his last moments on earth. A final poignant goodbye before we take your little buddy into what we call the Coliseum Room. Then we'll bludgeon and or club your pet to death as quickly as possible. Obviously, puppies and old dogs are gonna go faster, so please consult our list of prices. So when it's time for your precious little tail wagger and or cold-blooded reptile to lick the bucket. <laughs> lick the bucket. Call B and C and let us bludgeon and or club your pet into the suite hereafter. So I don't know if it's helpful to you. And then they have a little, uh, I guess, an advertising they call them taglines. Uh, it says B and C, put that pet down. And then they also offer a little guarantee, which I thought was nice. It's 30 minutes or it's free. So there's that. Now, going back to the therapy thing, um, when I was killing, putting my parents to sleep, I, I was cleaning out their savings garage, and I came across these photos from back when I was a kid, and I thought I'd bring them in, show you guys, um, blah, blah, blah. Um, and the first one is, it's kind of cute, it's my mom reading me the little uh, red engine that would never amount to anything. Uh, I know I can't, I know I can't. Uh, every night we read that. Then I found a list of affirmations that um, they had me read every morning in the mirror. Um, and they were, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not good enough. I'll only disappoint you. And I'm worried. So I don't know if they, I think they helped over time. Um, they also placed little banners, some principles to live by around the house. Uh, one was, uh, if first you don't succeed, give up, you're a worthless piece of shit. Um, the other was, what doesn't kill you ought to. Um, and then the last was, uh, uh, don't get your hopes up. Hey, what are you doing with hopes? So that was it. And, and I found a photo of dad. I walked in on dad. He had a belt around his arm. 
And uh, I said, uh, Dad, what's going on? And he said, uh, I couldn't find any string to tie around my fingers and I need to remind myself of something. Uh, Dad, what a nut. <laughs> um, and, you know, Dad also had a problem with stalking. Uh, but he did something about his problem. He went to Stalkers Anonymous and worked the steps. Now, in Stalkers Anonymous, the steps are a little bit different. They're more like, let me show you. So that's the steps on Stalkers uh, Anonymous. But, um, you know, I've got pages and pages of material. And uh, I would have liked to go to the open mic tonight at uh, the New Way Bar at Ferndale. Uh, but, you know, I'm just, I'm an old person, I stay up, uh, grouchy, and then uh, things bother me all the time. Hey, how come you're not saying thank you instead of uh, have a nice, good one, blah, 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 you know. But anyhow, next time you see me, I will be on stage. I will, I promise now, and I'm not kidding. <laughs> I will kid you. 